Welcome to our live training session number 13. We're going to be tuning a C5 Z06 Corvette using HB tuners. So let's jump into some details about the vehicle. It has a built LS1 engine. It's going to have approximately 9.5 to 1 forged pistons installed. It also has a custom spec ground supercharger cam. That's a pretty mild grind. It also has a custom supercharger kit using a P1 trim blower. It's pulled at about 13 to 14 PSI. Now, in addition to this, on the fuel system side of things, we have ID 1000 CC injectors, dual Walboro 400 liter power pumps, external lines and regulators. It also has the regulator reference to vacuum or manifold pressure and the base pressure set to 58 PSI. It also has a header back exhaust with cat deletes and alcohol injection. So we have a whole bunch of modifications that have been done and we need to recalibrate this PCM. Now we're going to be going in and changing the operating system to a two bar operating system and doing all of our tuning and speed density. So let's jump into the video here so we can learn how to create our base calibration file and swap our operating system so we can get this live training session started. Welcome to our GM Gen 3 live training course. We have a C5 Z06 that's supercharged that we're going to be getting into tuning. So let's jump into our VCM editor and read this PCM to get started here. So moving into our editor software, we're going to go up here to read click the read button, and then also click the read button right here. And we're gonna be reading what this PCM has in it. Now this is a stock PCM on this Corvette, and we have a lot of modifications. We have bigger injectors, we have an engine that has a cam installed, supercharger, uh, we have full header back exhaust. So we have a lot of modifications that need to get recalibrated so they're gonna work based on this particular car. So this PCM is uh, going to be in its stock state. So we're gonna be reading it right here. It takes about a minute and a half. And then we're gonna be going in and converting it from this stock operating system into an enhanced operating system. And in fact, we're gonna be converting it to a two bar operating system for speed density. We're going to ignore the mass airflow and just tune it based on the map sensor. So we're walking you through all of that. So we have to be patient here. I'm gonna allow it to download this stock operating system file, and then we will go and save it as the original, and then we'll go through the process of uh, going and creating the speed density calibration. Now, what's really, really important is we save this file as original and we do not touch it. So if we need to revert back to stock for any reason, or if we want to revert to stock data, this will be our original, our base, we can always compare against a modified file to see what the stock tables had in them. Um, it's gonna be, again, imperative that you save it. I cannot stress that enough. So as soon as this downloads here, it looks like about 40, 50 seconds, we'll save it, save it as original, put it into its own folder, and we will not touch it or edit it. Super important. So let's be patient here and allow it to finish the downloading. All right, so now it's went ahead and read the file. Let's go into our directory here and let's put it into a folder and again, save it as original. So I'm gonna go here to new folder in my custom tune directory and I'm gonna be calling this folder right here. We'll call it EPA Z06. So we can distinguish it from other files. And it looks like I didn't save. Let's go ahead and try that one more time here. We'll just call it EPA Z06. And it's gonna look like I have something there. It looks like it actually was already in there. It may have uh, just not populated and jumped into the folder. There we go. Okay, so let's jump in here and we're gonna be saving this file name as original. So this is the original file. We do not want to touch this file. Again, I cannot stress this enough. And you always wanna make sure you have this original. Now the next step here is to convert this into speed density operating system. So that's pretty straightforward. If we jump here into OS or operating system, we can find we have a couple different choices we have a speed density, enhanced. We find we have a two bar and a three bar operating system and then a one bar math enhanced. So in this situation, I'm gonna be choosing a two bar operating system for the speed density conversion. We have a cobalt two bar map sensor installed and we're not gonna be running more than 15 pounds of boost or two bar, two bar of boost for the reference on the map sensor. So um, I'm gonna be choosing the scale of the map sensor that I'm gonna be running on. Now, you can choose a three bar operating scale and run a two bar map sensor or even a one bar map sensor. It's just gonna be expanding the maps out further so you can get higher, higher up in boost. But we don't necessarily need to do that in this situation. I'm just gonna be keeping it simple and going here to two bar, but that is something to consider. If you're tuning your car and maybe you're turbocharged and you're thinking down the road, you may be turning up the boost beyond 15 pounds. Then instead of having to go in and uh, copy and paste tables into a three bar operating system, it's better just to select the three bar and then put your two bar map sensor linear and offset data in, it tells it that is it running on a two bar map sensor, and then just use that. And if you wanna to switch to a three bar, then all you have to do is change your map sensor data, your linear and offset values for a three bar. So 
keep that in the back of your mind. Um, that's something to definitely consider. It's gonna be creating a lot more work for you. So you need to decide right now what you're gonna be doing. In this case, I'll stick with the toolbar. So I'll go here to apply code modification. It's gonna be giving us um, some instructions here. Save the file with a new name. Ch close the current file, open the new file, and use write entire process only on the first write. So it's gonna have to follow this procedure. If we do not, we can brick the ECU. So this is very, very important. So I'll click OK here. I've acknowledged that I'm going to be going in and, and doing that. So I'll click this window closed. I'm going to go here to File, and I'm going to go to Save As. And I'm going to be saving this file as SD for speed density OS 2 bar. So I can keep track of that. And I'll call this the base file. This will be our base. 